Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Leo. So Leo, wherever you have this planetary placement, claim it if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't be a gavon on this channel and try to force fit. There is sick, thick, dense energy all over YouTube, right? It's worldwide. Sharing is caring. Speaking of worldwide, wherever you are and whoever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. We appreciate it. And in case anybody's not told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Now let's hit this. Clear and ground for Leo. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Leo. Leo. All right, Leo, there's no genitalia in tarot, right? It's masculine or feminine energy. Anybody can be resonating in either or at any time. It's my job to tell you what the energy is. It's your job to apply it only if it applies. Show me the energy. So here we go. And I will call out the most predominant signs as we go, but don't put too much stock in that either, because it could be anything Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, right? Show me Leo. What does Leo need to see? How can we help Leo? Leo, 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 Leo. Leo. Show me Leo. Cards for Leo, please. Thank you, Spirit. Here we go. Let's see what we have. You have the strength in reverse, which is you coming into your own reading, but what are you doing here? And the high priestess in reverse. All right, Leo. You probably have Pisces in your chart, but even if you don't, your challenge here is to be using your intuition. You're not feeling very brave. You're not feeling very strong. You don't have a lot of self-confidence here, so what's going on? You're getting cowardly lion vibes, okay? Now, I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just trying to give you a pep talk. The foundation of this situation, you did have a nine of pentacles. Some kind of success, rewarded for your efforts, single, something like this. Now, you ha now you're, <laughs> look at you. Crowning you, you are at crossroads. You, you're stuck here. You don't know which way to go. You're picking a path towards success. You are coming out of your comfort zone and you're trying to pick a path, but it seems like you're at crossroads. Show me what's coming in that we all... Okay. Whoa, Leo, look what's coming in that you don't see. The Ten of Pentacles. Good for you. You also got the sun in reverse. So something is either not being illuminated to you or you are not happy with something here. How could you not be happy with the Ten of Pentacles? Oh boy, we're going to have to clarify this. The sun in reverse does talk about a lack of enthusiasm, blocked happiness, or, you know, some kind of oppression. Let me see what's going on here. Now, we all know what the Ten of Pentacles is. It's it's financial stability. Well, here you are in your environment, moving over to Karma Waters. So that's good. Putting all the drama and, and uh, bullshit behind you. I'm seeing some kind of a con, like one of those con shells here. You got some kind of rapid forward movement. Move fast. This is what? Something in your life is going to start moving rapidly forward. Now, this could be anything. Those could be the arrows of love. This could be the arrows of finance. This could be anything. Text, phone calls, correspondence between people. Show me what, uh, or just you moving fast in your life in any direction. It could be anything. It could be a diet you start. It's going to excel, right? And money's going to start to come in. All this, I'm feeling. So you just got to, you got to come out of this energy here. So, you know, like, let me see. We got Pisces and Leo really on the board, okay? Show me the most, yeah, all right, thanks. Here we go. So you have to be patient here and just hold on. This is what the situation is. You really do. This is what spirit wants you to do. Be patient. That's what the seven of uh, pentacles are, waiting for your harvest to grow into this ten. You're at seven here. And also, don't be oversharing. Don't overshare anything. Not your thoughts, your words. Just hold back. This, you know, this is my card of constipation. So remain constipated. No physics for you. Yeah, you got an emperor. Aries energy. This is somebody who's in charge. They are very um, reliable, very down to earth. They're very protective, practical. They run things. They don't miss a trick. The emperor is the top of the game. All right, after the emperor, that's it, their source. So you got a page of cups, some kind of good news or a message. Now, this could be coming from an Aries or, you know, maybe you have Aries in your chart and you're going to be this emperor. I hope so. Male or female, doesn't matter, right? Somebody's watching you. Somebody's going to send you some kind of good news or a message. 
somebody that's watching you. Now, this could be an air sign or a water sign. You're defensive over here and hysterical crying. Look at you. What's going on with you? You're, you're at the end of your tether. <laughs> oh, God. Is that what? <laughs> I don't know who says that, but somebody's at the end of their tether here, okay? <laughs> My nose is itching. All right, they're done. Look at this person. Look at this person. They're, they've been holding it up so long, they're about to, like, this is the end. They're not sleeping. They're crying. Somebody's not bathing here. What's going on with this? You have a new opportunity for resources and abundance. To become this queen of pentacles. And the king of pentacles. Look at this. Leo. So stop being confused here. There's a Gemini specifically. That's around you. Oh, God. You got some kind of... You got... Listen, this is very interesting. And now you get the sort of truth. Something's going on with you, Leo. Listen, you're going to go through a little... Uh, it's like going to be a little bit of a roller coaster ride here, I can see. You know, but I'm going to tell you that... Um, Right after the roller coaster ride, the twists and turns, I'm hearing twists and turns. Um, let's write that down. That's a good title. Twists and turns. And um, you don't understand the struggle to, to name these videos without doing clickbait. But here goes my nose. You know, after these twists and turns, it definitely looks good. You got the Queen and King of Pentacles looking at each other. Look at, they see each other. This is, they're going to take it to the end. The Queen of this could be a business deal, but let me tell you, it's romance too. They take it to the end. This is a new opportunity. Yeah. And it looks like you're dealing with some kind of an air sign, specifically a Gemini. This might be something you manifest. It looks like a painful ending of a very competitive situation. But here you go with a reciprocated offer of emotions, the truth, the Knight of Cups. Very good. All right, so here we go. Let's put this down because we can get stuck on stupid doing that. Yeah. All right, so you have Aries, Leo, Pisces. Leo again. Here we go. Show me this top row for Leo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What was this? Three cups. Okay. Show me. Top row. Thank you. Here we go. All right. Four cups. Again, hold them back. You got four pentacles. You got four cups. Hold them back and being very, um, I don't know, apathetic. You're disgusted. This is what the situation is. Look at you. You're not interested. You're holding back for many offers. Look at this. You got an offer that you're not even interested in it. You're looking at it, but you're like, eh. So that's my card of disgust. Okay. Somebody needs to pick their head up around here. Like somebody's just always looking down on the ground. You got to pick your head up. I'm hearing that song. What just makes that little old ant think he can move a rubber tree plant? High hopes. Somebody needs some high hopes around here. Show me. Things are about to turn around for you, Leo. Show me these cards, for God's sakes. Show me. Thank you. All right, so let's see what we have going on. So now, look at this. Did I say high hopes and the star came out? Hope for your future? Do I know my energy? Anyway, the star, Aquarius energy, healing, hope for your future. So this disgusted attitude, I'm disgusted and I, I you know, I'm holding back. I don't want to, nothing is satisfying me. Um... Yeah, you got hope for your future now and healing. Let's see what this is. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Okay, so now I'm just going to tell you something. With the star and the Wheel of Fortune, this is like destiny. This is destiny playing out, whatever this is for you. Good luck, good karma, decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. And it is Sagittarius energy. Jupiter is in expansion. This is the planet Jupiter. This is expansion. This is what's going on. Now you got a King of Wands. All right, so this is always you, Leo. Always you in this establishment, the King of Wands. Somebody who's vibrant, somebody who's charismatic, somebody who takes the lead, somebody who's bold and daring. Exciting. And I'm hearing hot, hot, hot. Look, you got this. All right. You got a new... Let me see. Wait. Tiberius is throwing all the pillows on the floor. Here, you got this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a new emotional awakening, right? This is what's happening here. So you guys are just about to get some... The cup of love. The opportunity for new love. That's what that is. This is really nice. Show me. Show me what's going on here. Thank you. Here. Yeah. So now, because oh, you got a Six of Cups in reverse. So th listen, this Six of Cups in reverse talks about forgiveness. It talks about moving forward. It talks about leaving the past in the past, not living in it, you know? Leave the past in the past, move forward, and you look like you're going to be doing really good. Take your lessons and learn from them. It wasn't a lesson, lesson, it was a blessing. 
right? Give me more. What's going on up here? So, here we come. The Ace of, the ace of, uh, the ace of Swords, the truth, the facts. Somebody's going to get some kind of truth here. Somebody's going to get some kind of truth here. It's going to clear things up. It's going to be a breakthrough, whatever it is. All right? Let me see. Give me two more on the top. Let's see what goes on. You have uh, Aquarius and Sag. Oh, look at this. The Ace of Truth about some kind of happiness, some kind of wish fulfillment. Whatever this truth is, it's going to be your wish fulfillment. And how could it not be? Look what you have coming in that you don't see. All right? So whoever's sitting here like, you know, Pouty Peter, disgusted, ungrateful, snap out of it. You got hope for your future. You're the wheels turning in your favor. This is the time. Jupiter is in expansion and like everything that you touch turns to go right now. You're going to get some kind of truth. You got to get over the past. Forgive yourself for what you didn't know when you didn't know it. Forgive everything. Forgive everybody. Everybody's vibrating the best they can on their frequency. Some people don't, you know, wind up with other people. Just forgive everybody, all right? You got a nine of cups. You got a wish coming true. Emotional fulfillment. This is beautiful. So let's see. Uh, three, six, right? One more up here. I don't even need to touch this other one up here. This is craziness. This is such a good reading for you. Show me. I'm so happy for you guys, Leo. I love you guys. By the way, <laughs> could you please hit the like and subscribe? It's really, really, look, an emotional, a, a reciprocate off of emotions that you're denying, but you're going to be very excited about because you're busy with working with your head to the ground and worrying about things. And here comes the lovers. All right, so listen. Could you hit that like and subscribe, please, and thank you. This is our moment of silence to beg and barter for the likes and subscribes. It's free. It's fun. It's entertainment purposes only. So it's good for you. It's good for us. And uh, it's the right thing to do, right? Do the right thing. So here we go. Last but not least. Okay, so now you've got a surprise and a shock coming in. Well, you know, that's a good way to end it because <laughs> this is something you don't see coming. It's Scorpio energy. It's this wish coming true that you don't see coming. It's this new offer of love. It's the it's the healing and the hope for your future and whatever this fate, fated thing of yours is. So here we go. We have the tower. Scorpio ends Aries energy technically. And uh, guess what? Something you don't see coming is going to shake you up and shake you down. Now, here we have this Ten of Pentacles. My happiest card in the deck because, you know, it's not even about the financial wealth, but it's about the legacy, the family, the roots. It's it's the most stable card. And yeah, you don't have to worry about money. That's like cherry on a cake. Here we go. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So listen, some of you that's sitting over here, like not having a lot of self-confidence and not using your intuition here with the Pisces and the Leo energy up there. Maybe you have Virgo energy in your chart. Maybe you don't, but whoever it was, somebody did the dark night of the soul. Somebody did the healing. They did all the work. They spent a lot of time by themselves. Because of that, they are in a very antisocial, restrictive energy. They don't have the self-confidence to be around people anymore. They don't even know how to deal with people anymore. The energy is too strong. I'm hearing it. Yeah, it hits like ultraviolet violet waves to this person. This person, you know. So this person's got to learn how to re... Yeah. Re-enter the social scene in some way. Start being more social. Come out of this restrictive energy. I'm, I'm seeing like the... What was it? I'm seeing the person that lived in the woods and wrote his manifesto. I, I'm not saying that violence, but you know what I'm saying? Like a real loner. Like a mountain man. I'm saying, yeah. Male, female. You know what I'm saying. Here you go. Why? Because you're busy, antisocial, and throwing everything that you have into work. You're committed, dedicated, and focused. And that's really good. I mean, you should be. On your Ten of Pentacles, it's right there. Eight to ten. But because of this, it's ruined. It's like, you know, you just... And also, sending spiritually, it's hard to deal with low, lower vibrating energies. But here you are, committed, dedicated, and focused. You're up late at night working. You know, you and your little... Um, not for nothing, but that reminds me of Delilah on the desk, doesn't it? Like, your little pet on the desk. Maybe some of you are like a little mouse or a guinea pig or something like this. Looks like a little rat. But like a cute one, a hamster, something like this. All right, so listen... You know, that's, there's nothing wrong with the Eight of Pentacles as an energy. The Eight of Pentacles is wonderful. But when it's encumbering on your, like, do any of you even talk to, like, who's not even talking to people out there? So here we go. You got a Knight of Wands. Now, I'm feeling highly that this has got to be you trying to come out of some kind of comfort zone here where you're not socializing with people. Being charismatic, being yourself, you guys, you know? Other of you, you could have some kind of a fire sign, Aries Lee or Sagittarius coming in right now to save the day like the hero 
Because maybe somebody sees that all you do is work and stay by yourself. This could be, you know. So somebody's coming in to throw a little fun in. This person is fun. I mean, this person is very energetic and charismatic, like I said. Confident, charming. Very, you know, probably really hot. Every Leo Sagittarius somewhere in that chart. Show me. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Show me. Give a ground. Thank you. Well, they're flipping all over the place, but they're not coming out. Give it to me. Can we have cards for Leo, please? And thank you. All right. Great. What else? Thank you, God. Here, we're going to take them all like this. All right. So here you go. Because, I, yeah, what did I just tell you? Somebody sees you burdened down with a lot of baggage, maybe over-obligated, over-responsibilities. Like, you really, somebody really here. Here comes the Knight of Cups. So the, somebody's coming in here. Now, this could be somebody that has fire and water in their chart. Okay? This person, they could be bringing a little baggage with them. They could. But uh, it's feeling like you're at the end of this here. Like, And somebody's coming in to get you out of this, whatever this is. Only working and just, you know, that's it. I'm Eat, sleep, rinse, repeat. This is what I'm getting. Somebody's got to go into focus. And they're going to overcome any obstacles to get to it. Now... Here you are, the Empress. I'm feeling like this is you. This is somebody who knows their worth and their value. Whatever they touch turns to gold, okay? You, maybe this is your goal and your focus. You want to be the Empress, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's like, and here's the Emperor. So, guess what, you know? And then don't forget, we did have the, you know, over here. Let's go back a second. The Queen and the King of Pentacles, right? So, this, you both could have Earth in your chart. And, you know, specifically Taurus. But you're, you're on your way. You know your work. You're not going to settle for any shit. You're not doing this. So something is about to end. So something new can begin. This is death and rebirth. You have Scorpio. You have Taurus. You have Cancer. Virgo. Scorpio and Aries. Leo. Sagittarius and Aquarius. Somebody's trying to get away with something here. So be careful. Somebody's doing something nefarious. Now maybe this is going to be the end of that. But somebody could be stealing from you, lying, trickery, scheming, uh, you know, seven of swords is strategy, it's sneakiness, it's some kind of betrayal. So this actually could be the end of some kind of betrayal here. This is what? Because, you know, it could be the end of somebody, if somebody's betraying you, it could be the end of it. But also, too, for others of you, there could be somebody trying to betray you. So you have to stay forced either way, right? Because the energy is fluid, it could go any way. How is this going to end here? All right. So, all right, doing the balancing act, spinning plates, trying to get, be, you know, get yourself on solid ground. Again, with the four of swords, rest. You got a lot of fours here. All right, four, four, four is your frequency sound bath. This is your megahertz. This is your hertz. Four, four, four binaural beats. Go and put that in. This is the archangels. This is a beautiful, a very beautiful. Also, some of you might be seeing four, four, four as a synchronistic, synchronistic. <laughs> yeah, you got it. A synchronizing number. Anyway, that's Archangels. It's a pure frequency. Synchronistic. Synchronistic. I knew I could say it. Yeah. Let's get one more card on this, please. So we, you need some rest. You need some rest. You've been doing this balancing act. You've been working here. You know, it's time. You, you're getting yourself on solid ground. Try to recuperate. I'm seeing a red brick wall. A red brick wall. I'm also seeing a green and red blanket. Okay, here we go. Something about Egypt and the Sphinxes, like something about Egypt or um, Egyptology or some kind of, I'm here, seeing here in the Nile River, what? what? I'm also seeing deer with, um, like a like two big deer with very big racks on their head, so whatever that means. I'm seeing somebody riding a 10-speed bike, like, a, like a, a bike marathon or something like that. All right, show me. I also see a, an architectural table, like a, a table where architects do their, I don't know, grafting. Show me this four swords. What's with the four swords? Here we go. Here we go. One more. One more for Leo. Let's go here. Thank you. All right, Leo. Yeah, you know, this is good. You got the five of cups in reverse. If you're going to get a five of cups, this is... This is 
now somebody like this is compromise. This is um, not wanting to fight anymore. Five of Cups in reverse does talk about finding peace. This talks about um, forgiveness. This talks about uh, moving on and accepting, you know, compromising with what your past, what happens, getting over whatever pain and regret this is. So this is why, you know, you're bouncing yourself out. You need the rest to, to forgive and move on and get over, you know, compromise with yourself. Forgive yourself, like I said, for not knowing what you didn't know when you didn't know it. Why? Because you got this new beginning here. And it looks like it's in the financial arena, but also look, it looks like both. Just be patient. You have a new beginning. Okay? You got to be patient. It's all in divine timing. I don't know what to tell you people. You have a two of cups. Reciprocated offer of emotions. Here comes the knight of swords. Four of pentacles again. Holding back. Moving on. Things you don't know. Toxicity. And look at here. Again, the ten of pentacles. So, I, you know, you guys got the ten of pentacles twice. I don't know. That's excellent. So, I, but like I said, twists and turns I'm getting. Like, twists and turns. The long and winding road. This is what? The long and winding, and that's what I'm hearing. The long and winding road. That's that's exactly what. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. Boy, am I hearing that big and loud in my head right now. All right, somebody's thinking of you. We're going to try to do this. Thank you. So there's a community. It could be a community of anything, right? I mean, 39 or 12. This, it could be a community of foodies. I'm hearing, wow, okay. It could be like, you're in the tarot community right now. Somebody might do a hula hoop. I'm seeing a purple throw blanket. So any kind of community. It could be a community where you live. It's a community of anything, right? Somebody's going to get a message of concern here. 14 of 5. Somebody could be 39, like I said. Here we go. You have... Oh, somebody's... Look. What I This is the same as, as you know... Yeah, the eight of uh, pentacles over here. Just working, working, working. So it's 34 or 7. Somebody's doing something that requires some kind of skill. This, whatever they're doing, not everybody could do. I mean, how many of you, and I'm sure there are a few, but really, it's not the majority, that could sew on a sewing machine. That's like, you know, this could be something like somebody's doing as a side hustle because they have a particular skill. Here we go. There's a wealthy man. All right. Now, whatever this wealthy man, uh, you know, Maybe all this work is turning somebody into a wealthy man. 13 or 4. Let's see. I'm seeing a gambling parlor again. I'm seeing like the horse racing. You know when you go up to the, the windows? Somebody's at the what? The track? Betting on horses? Saratoga? Something like this? What is this? Belmont? I'm, yeah. Somebody's at the track. This is what I'm seeing. All right. All right, and watch out for the thief. This could be a thief around. It's 24 or 6. Oh, yeah, look at that. So watch out if you're a wealthy person. Somebody's not trying to rob you. And it could be even be more than one people. It could be people working in tandem, all right? Because there's two people there. Looks like one trained the other. Somebody wants to court somebody here. Four. Again. <laughs> Oh, Tiberius, please, honey. You got a lot of fours. Four, four, four. This is four. That's four. Delilah, really, what are you going to do? All three pounds of you. Uh, you know, somebody's going to have to go to court. Hopefully, it's this freaking thief. So, you got 23 and five. Somebody could be 42 here. Or well, 44. I'm hearing 44. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 44. Wow. Who said that? Let's see. What else we have? Show me. So somebody could be expecting. Somebody could be expecting a baby. Somebody could be expecting to go to court here. 28 or 10. Somebody could be expecting a message. Some of you might even be expecting to become wealthy or be, a, you know, a wealthy. There's an official person. All right. This is a person. This is a person. You know, this could be a judge or a lawyer. It could be any kind of person that's in a f official capacity. Right. I mean, it could be a processor. It could be a guard at Westminster. This is what I, <laughs> this could be a guard. All right, so you got a message. Somebody's going to get a message. Now, this could be a message that somebody's got to go to court, I'm feeling. Yeah, Sister Spirit says. You know, it's time to go to, uh, I'm hearing a Zoom, 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 Zoom. zoom. That's what I, so somebody might have to go to Zoom, like Zoom court. All right, well, you know, it's better than having to actually get up and go to the courthouse, right? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, let's look. It's the thief again. It's the thief. 
This thief's in trouble. All right, so if you're stealing out there, whoever you are, whether you're the Leo or the cross watcher, whoever you are, stop it. You're about to get caught. You're going to go to court and you're going to go to jail. Well, this is why. I don't care. I don't care if I see the jail card. This is, here. Yeah, there's a main female. There's some kind of main female going on over here. So this main female could be expecting a baby. I mean, this could be the main female that's working a butt off. Somebody holds somebody in high honor here. Maybe this official person, 25 and 7. What else? Somebody's in their thoughts. I'm telling you somebody's thinking about somebody here. They hold them in high honor. Maybe they want to court them. 16 and 7. Here we go. Again, there's a specific community. Tell me. What else? Anything else? It's the last time I'm going around, so we're going to do it once, and that's it. Is that it? All right, here we go. So now we have this. There's a privileged lady, or well, there's about to be, all right? Again, with the official person. So there's going to be a change in somebody's life here. This person that's going to go to court and winds up getting caught. And there's another, again, a message of concern over here that's got to go. Again, somebody's occupation, the courthouse. All right, they're repeating. So, let's see. What else? So I'm going to get... By the way, I said thank you for the like and subscribe. These are any uh, other astrological signs or any moon phases that you should be concerned with. You got Pisces. What's going on with the crystals? So, I, you had Pisces in the beginning. Some of you have it in your chart. Some of you are dealing with the Pisces. Or some kind of a high priestess. You got 12 or 3. This is number 20. It's Uranus. That is not your butt. <laughs> Uranus is Aquarius. Oh, God. With the childhood childhood jokes. I know this is that I'm channeling through right now. All right. So here we go. Show me anything else for Leo so we can end this and let them go, please. These poor people. Really, guys, thank you. This is uh, try to keep it light and airy around here. Laughter is the best way to bring up your vibration. Here you go. Don't let the past hold you back. And don't. Get over it. We talked about this, right? We talked about this earlier in the reading. Get over it. Forgive and move on because you're walking into, you know, this is something about your south south node. Maybe having to let go and release. That's what I believe south node is. What do you have to release in this life? Release it with love. Here we go. Show me. Anything else? All right. This is the end. At the bottom of this deck, you have step out of your comfort zone. That's the north node. Release and step out of your comfort zone. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. We love you. Thank you again. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.